everyone, so I'm going to be doing a everyday foundation routine, and I hope you guys like this. I'm going to get started because my battery's about to die, so let's get started. So I've already applied my moisturizer for the day. It looks like this, and I'm going to start out by using a powder foundation. Now, I wanted my skin to kind of breathe on the weekend today, Saturday, so just, I don't want, like, a whole bunch of foundation gunk on my face. So I'm going to be applying the mineral one from Maybelline, and this is in light number two. I'm just going to be applying this with... The little green brush that came with this powder, it's like this, so it says Nagelay New York on the front, and then I'm just going to put some of the product, like this, swirl this in there, cut off the excess, and get to buffing. Gives just a little bit of coverage, not too much. You, you do have to. I do. I have to. Sorry, I have to add a concealer because I like I get red and stuff on my face. And I have just a few blushes, not too many. Um, but you know, girls, Tom, you know what can happen. And then just whatever rest less left in there. I can't talk today, sorry. Just kind of get all the way down there. You can just put it down to your neck. Okay. Now that I add my concealer, I'm using the Mineral Power Natural Perfecting Concealer in Ivory Light 2-3. I'm going to apply this right there. I'll be adding a different concealer for under my eyes. So, I'll do that in a minute. But I'm going to take um, this brush. This is actually a shadow brush, but I like to use it for this, like, blending in concealer and stuff like that. Just because I feel like it, I feel like it gives it better um, kind of coverage and stuff. I got foundation on it, but it's like this. I'm going to just take it and just kind of tap this like that. Go around the nose if needed. I'll also be doing um, cheeks and lips, but I'll be doing a um, everyday I make every to everyday everyday eye to tutorial a little bit later on if you guys are interested. So this the eye will be um, separate video from the foundation. Cause I don't really like have a lot of time because my battery about to die. It's like flashing kind of red on one bar, so I have to kind of talk a little bit fast and kind of hurry. But I can make this happen. Some people don't, don't like to really use brushes. You're, you know, you're not able to cover up everything completely, but. I don't, I don't want to like, I don't want really full cover today just because a natural day today. So I'm using this, um, skin cooling powder, um, in classic every number 10. This is a very, very, very light powder, so just, I do this as a setting powder. Just like one little, this brush can give you the lightest coverage on the application. So I'm just going to take this, and like there's anything on there, so just going to take that a little bit, tap it off, just kind of, Use a light hand, use it in the back, and just kind of swirl this. I don't really notice this, like, it be clearing my skin any, but it gives a light coverage. And it's not really coverage, but it's like a really, really, really light cover. It's like almost white. 
this color of it, so I use it just kind of set my powder every in the morning since I like that, so that's how I do that. Now I'm going to take a concealer for my eyes. This looks like this, and this is an ivory like 2 3.5. This is a corrector. I don't, I don't use this on my um, primary because it will make them pop out more. And not only pop out, but like make them stand out more noticeable. You don't want that. So let's go with this. I've kind of hit paint on it, but using the inner corners. So take this. I've saw people use brushes with this. I saw them using their fingers, whatever sponge. I like to use it. Just my fingers. If I need more coverage, then I'll use a brush. Which I think I will. Lost it. So I'm taking the same shadow brush, but for as concealer use, usage. Just kind of speed up a little bit. Be sure to use your middle finger or your ring finger um, to blend because it's the lightest finger on your hand and it's not much like pressure and it's really really light to blend stuff in with. So it's really good. Okay, now I'm not doing eyes, but I am going to add a primer just so I can even out my skin tone and stuff. Um, just using um, this fresh complexion one from Dora Grill, and this is in Classic Irie. Just going to kind of hide those veins up there, because my veins show very, very well. I will curl my lashes, but no, no any makeup fix. No, I want to be like very, very plain today so that's all just curl them but not that's it. I'm taking this blush from Maybelline this is in Pinch of Pink. Right there. Zoom on my cheeks a little bit so you guys can actually see how I do this but this is a very very gorgeous color. I love this blush. I'm taking my blush brush just a little bit. Hang on Let's go and swipe that up there. Just like that. And then, for my eyelashes, I'm taking my Maybelline. What? Alright, and the last stop I'm going to do this little chapstick 